welcome to my channel and today we are doing a speed build so I live stream on Twitch three times a week and one of the options um, for um, for like a reward for hanging out in the stream um, we have if, if you haven't ever been on Twitch there's um, a system that you can set up as a creator where you can have it so this way your like subscribers and your followers and just people in general can earn loyalty points while they hang out. So I have it set up so this way one of my rewards is that I can build a house for you. And so this is a build for one of my subscribers. It is currently available on the on the gallery if I can remember what it was called um, this is in fact available on the gallery so you can go ahead you can download it for yourself I tried to keep this one a little bit more pack restricted um, so I have another build that's coming up that I also it was a similar aspect and I think it's because partially I kind of almost get like a little bored with things that are in my own head of like how I want to build and things like that so it's also a way to help me kind of, you know, sit outside the box and, you know, kind of create something new. So, here we are. <laughs> she wanted a two-bedroom, a, a two two-bath, ranch-style home. So, that's kind of what we went for here. Um, and it... I wouldn't necessarily say that it's, like... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, but um, I've been trying to kind of work a little bit more outside and try to do things different um, instead of like my usual builds. Um, this one I also incorporated the terrain tools if you didn't see them in the beginning. Um, I did that as a way to kind of also incorporate that because I... I know I usually tend to get to know my subscribers and I generally tend to get to know my followers and so one of those things is that she does enjoy using the terrain tools she just doesn't always have the inspiration to use them so I kind of did this as a way to kind of inspire her to be able to do more um, and I promise we will get those columns there in the second row <laughs> I just had, I struggled so hard trying to just get them up there and I just I couldn't then I found out I could do that and it was cheating but it worked and that's what matters <laughs> so we have two bedrooms and two baths upstairs there is a little laundry area kitchen dining and living room downstairs um, she also wanted a more family ish style home um, with a kind of like a country style inside and room for a cat so of course there will be pet stuff available in here it also includes a lot of stuff from seasons um, and laundry day I think I tried to eat. I think those are like the most used packs out of all the packs I used I used quite a few packs <laughs> I used more than I probably should have but uh, I did end up um, I did end up showing it to her. She was very happy with it, and I was that 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 was the whole point of it. It also gave me something fun to do, um, where I could try something new. And I end up moving this staircase another two or three times. And I do apologize. I'm out of practice when it comes to doing speed builds, apparently. And I found that out firsthand once I started rewatching this, that I just had the camera all over the place for the build. And I do deeply apologize. <laughs> In the moment, I didn't even realize I was doing it, and it's kind of all over the place until I start to build. Once I start to build, it settles down a bit, because I usually focus on one room, and so I stay in there and I try and decorate a room while uh, moving about. So, if the motion sickness is getting to you, I understand. I do apologize. Like I said, apparently I'm just out of practice. Like, I guess it's been a while since I've done a speed build, and so... I'm kind of sitting here going, oops, my bad. <laughs> um, this also comes with a detached garage, um, which is probably looks more like a home studio than anything. So, which I kind of do like. And then it has like the metal slate roofs on and, or is it roofs? I think it's roofs. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, so... 
she also wanted like warm colors so that's what I generally tended to do um, the girls bedroom ends up changing another another time because um, I also ask questions like um, what's the family size what's the family dynamic so she said two parents two kids uh, did not specify genders of, of any so I kind of just went a little bit more honestly I went a little bit more outside the box because if you've ever watched a lot of my builds I generally tend to stick to the same color schemes usually grays blacks um, maybe some neutrals and that's about it so I tried to do more other things I tried to do other colors I tried to pick things I normally would not pick and that's what I, that's the struggle I've been having is I get comfortable and that's not necessarily a bad thing when, you know, I'm playing my own save file and I'm very happy with the way that it looks, but I also want it to be more versatile and I also want it to be, I also want to experiment with more colors and more textures and more things with the um, colors and tiles and stuff. Because um, I just find myself using the same stuff over and over and over and over and nothing's changing. And it's... I want my houses to start to look different. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. But that's what I was going for. Um, I end up <laughs> changing these counters up because I can't find a counter that or a cabinet that matches. I was so mad. So we end up going with these ones because I knew there was cabinets that matched. Because <laughs> that's what I wanted. I wanted matching cabinets. Um, which is actually, I'm almost, I, I'm so terrible with cabinets. I very rarely ever remember cabinets. And honestly, I think I forgot a trash can. And I forgot to put the mailbox out front. My bad. <laughs> At one point I had a post note here that said trash cans, mailboxes. And apparently my brain said, screw that, you don't need that, you got this. I did like three builds with them and it went, you got this, you don't need that no more. And I threw it away. And now we're back to forgetting trash cans and mailboxes. So if that tells you anything. <laughs> and right here in the kitchen, it gets a little wonky. So if you need to look away for a minute, um, this whole counter corner thing here, I end up getting a little crazy with it. So uh, especially just trying to move the objects onto the tables and stuff. I'm just like, I'm rewatching this. Because I, I watch it originally to make sure I don't have any long pauses. Because occasionally when I'm doing speed builds, because they take so long, I get up, walk around, get something to drink, get something to eat, visit with family, my husband, and pets, and stuff like that. So sometimes I end up pausing the video. I leave it recording so I can just come back, do what I want to, like, finish up what I'm doing, and then uh, let it go. But, so, like, I've re I've watched this video already once, so now I'm re-watching it. <laughs> So, um, just in case you were listening for an audio clue, it should be safe to come back. I'm done moving stuff around the kitchen. I don't get crazy with it no more. Um, I do end up changing the color of the chairs here because I, I like having different colored chairs in houses. I think it's very unique. I make it, I think, I feel that it makes the house look different and it really helps incorporate colors and pops of colors and stuff like that. Um, and... I have been subscribed to Better Homes and Garden Magazine because apparently I'm now a 40 year old mom from the 50s, I guess. <laughs> and uh, I actually really kind of like, I started reading the magazine I just got in the mail and I'm just like, oh, this is like so cool. I can totally use some of this information. I'm going to be using this information. And then I realize I'm like, oh my God, I'm old. And I'm not that old. <laughs> so. I mean, here we are. But uh, in the magazine, they were actually talking about how bold colors are especially in uh, this time and this year. Um, so, I mean, not that I really incorporated any of that into this build, but I just mean like, that's I think that's part of the reason why I've been introducing pops of color everywhere, is it's kind of like a way of introducing myself to color without overbearing myself with it. Um, which I feel is what usually happens. I hope you can't hear that. Maybe it's probably because I talk too loud. Um, if you can, I do apologize. I have a train. I have like a railroad that's literally like a stone's throw from my house, AKA like a thousand feet. Um, well, actually, no, it's probably farther than that, probably about 2,000 feet. No, I couldn't throw a stone that far. About a thousand. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Um, 
Uh, but I could literally walk out there and be out there in like two minutes. So there's a train that runs through. I thought it only ran through twice a day in the morning and then in the evenings. Apparently they've also added an afternoon route or like a, like a noonish route. Cause normally there was one that came by, normally there's one that comes by at like four and then there's one that comes by at around eight. It's 1130 as I record this. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so we're back to doing the living room. I really like the way the living room turned out. It made it feel very cozy and very homey, and uh, I just, I love it. And I love, I think my favorite area, honestly, is that little laundry area. You can see it right there, right now. Well, not no more. Um, slightly off to the right, uh, on the other side of the wall. I really love that little space, because it, it makes it feel like that actually would be in someone's home. Because there's, like, that little basket, because, of course, they're... The bedrooms and the laundry are on two separate floors. So it's entirely possible that somebody would bring a bag of laundry down, put it in this little hamper thing, just so they can kind of sort through it, wash everything, and then they can take it back up. You know, it's kind of what I was going for. And personally, I feel it. I hope you feel it too. Um, and like I said, this is available to download on the gallery. And I hope uh, if you download it that you enjoy it. Um, and I am very ashamed to say how long it took for me to pick lamps in this house. Not gonna lie. It should not have taken this long to pick lamps. Like the kitchen lamps, I think I, I ended up cutting a bunch of it out because I like spent that long picking out lamps. The front here, I ended up, this front hallway that runs from the front of the house to the back of the house, I thought to myself, you know what, it is very logical that they would have just basic ceiling lamps. like the like those lamps that everybody picks in The Sims because they're super bright and they're small and they're relatively cheap. They're like $120 in The Sims. So, all these little saucer lights. You can see them here. I got three. Um, I sat there and thought to myself, it is very plausible that they would actually have that in a hallway, that they would not have big decorative lights in a hallway. So that's what I went with. Um, the kitchen, living room, and a co like the bedrooms got actual like desk lamps and stuff like that. So I tried to do it so this way it was more, um, more homey. I know I've said that like five times in this video now, but you know, I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> so, uh, we're doing the master bedroom now. I, I especially love how the way that the girl's bedroom turns out. Like there's a lot of decorations and it definitely feels like a kid's room. Um. And in case you missed my Strangerville, Strangerville build, um, which I'll link down below, um, I said in there in that video that I'm trying to leave houses with space. Um, I'm trying not to fill the space 100% anymore. Um, and it's, it's a revelation that came to me, essentially. Um, I don't know if anybody else has ever realized this when they're building and stuff like that, that you know what? Sometimes I try to use my house when I build it and I'm like, oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to use this. I especially did that with my um, uh, Life of Grace series where I used, I built the houses and then I used them and then I was finding out I had to delete stuff. So this way there was room for the actual activities they were going to be doing. So instead I have decided I'm just going to start leaving areas blank. This way you can fill it with whatever you want. If you want to fill it with pictures of the family, you can do that. If you want to fill it with a gym, if you want to fill it with an art studio, if you want to do the YouTube recording studio, um, I mean, those spaces will actually be available to you that you won't have to like try and find it and figure it out or figure out what you can live without or trying to figure out, hey, can I build an addition on this? I don't know. <laughs> it's not going to be a little ridiculous. So, but um, like I said, I'm just trying to leave some room in there now. Um, this way, you know, it's not 100% full anymore. Which I know I have appreciated because I did that actually with the Strangerville build. And then when I started playing through the Strangerville, I was like, hey, you know what? There's actually room to put stuff in this house. I could actually buy things that I know she'll need. <laughs> what a concept. Um, I am a little ashamed at how long it took for me to realize that. But I've learned it now and that is what matters. So... I'm also trying to remember, not every kid needs their own bedroom. <laughs> I think it's because where I grew up, um, 
and the fact that it was just me for a long time and then there was my sister me and my sister shared a room when I was a kid um, but then once my sister moved out like I had my own room for a long time and I realized that you know what it's not that unreasonable that kids might share bedrooms because I'm sitting here thinking to myself I did share a bedroom when I was a kid so I think it's just with me having my own room for a long time it makes me want to build rooms for each child on their own you know instead of making kids share a space so and that's what I've been really working towards working on because um, it's always I always find that there's always some place to improve something else to do um, something else to do better so I did end up putting like a little mini gym up here mini very very mini there's a boxing thing and a yoga mat <laughs> The scouts are there, so this way the Sims could join the scouts. If they don't want to join the scouts, they can just delete that right on out, and you'll be good to go. Um, this is the girls' bathroom. Um, yes, I did assume that they were girls. I did not get told otherwise, so it's kind of what I mean. And it's just because I know this this person has a uh, she has a little girl at home, so I was like, you know what? I don't know if she made the family that way, but. We're gonna do it just because I know her, so I did. <laughs> um, I've been, I've, I think I sized down a lot of rugs in here because I think like some of the rugs are like a little too large for the space. Because it also seems unrealistic that you would have a rug that would go edge to edge, especially in something like a kitchen or something, because then it would kind of bunch up at the the counters and stuff. Like, so I've tried not to do that as much. Like. You wouldn't see the rug under the toilet in a home. That that physically would not happen. Like, <laughs> that's a physical impossibility. I mean, I guess it, technically it's not. But it'd be a lot of work to just get a friggin' toilet on top of a rug, okay? You couldn't even have it mostly under the rug either. Like, I recently had to go through and change out the seal on a toilet. So I am well aware of what... Uh, what the underside of a toilet looks like. I am far too versed into that at this point. Uh, but here's a little mini garage. It's essentially like a one car garage. Um, but it's got like some stuff out there for like a little home studio. So it's got the guitar, the piano, the woodworking station, and a easel. So this way, you know, it's kind of like a creative space. Um, and then you can kind of decorate however you want. If you instead decided that you wanted to um, use it for a YouTube studio. You could do that for the little video producer thing from Get Famous. Or you could even do, um, like, um, um, Derp and Rock. Maybe, like, a game area. So, so maybe you have, like, the dartboard and the foosball table and stuff. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go into the house tour now. I hope you really enjoyed watching this build. Um, as much as I enjoyed making it. So we're going to go through. I'm going to give just a little brief description. Hopefully it's brief. should be. Um, of course, here is the front porch. You can get your own chairs and stuff and put them out front. Or if you'd rather have the easel out there, you can always do that as well. Um, so this is the main hallway. This is the little foyer area. Um, I put the backpacks there. It's just kind of a way that the girls would grab their backpacks and run out of the front door. Because that's what I always did. I always had my backpack by the front door. Um... And of course, it's a cat-friendly home, so there's lots of cat furniture, um, big TV with a fireplace. We're going to go across the hall to the kitchen area. Um, very large kitchen with an island there to, as a, kind of like, almost like a seat-in kitchen. Or, I think it's called like a breakfast nook, technically. Um, I originally wanted to put a table in the corner, but then I realized it wouldn't really work. So I really liked the way the island turned out in the home. And then we move on to the actual dining area, and it's got a very beautiful lamp that comes down. Room for ch fancy china. Though, to be honest, I don't know how many people actually have china in their homes now. This is that little laundry area I was telling you about. I really, I just, I really enjoy it. It's very, very homey, and it's very, like, cozy. And I know that seems, like, so weird to describe a laundry area that way. Uh, but there's that little basketball area you saw. And then here is the garage. Again, little home studio area. Um, 
then we will go ahead and move back in and then we'll go take a look at upstairs um, as soon as we can get around apparently we smacked our face on the corner of the house you know there's a little area here as well for a little potted plant a hose you know and then a the water balloons. Oh yeah, and then I made this, I put this door here. You have to have move objects on this way, the door will stay. Um, and it's designed as like a little like storage space. I saw somebody do that, I'm like, oh my god, how come I never thought to do that? I think it's because I don't live in a two-story house. Um, but here's that little gym area up here, the scouts, that desk, and the radio. And then we can go into the, come into the girls' bedroom. Which I really like that accent wall over there. It kind of like helps separate the space out a little bit. And I love all the stuff that went on the walls. It definitely makes it feel like it's lived in. I believe we go outside first. Oh, no, we go into the bathroom first. Then we might go outside. Uh, but here is the girls' bathroom. Very basic bathroom. Bathrooms usually are. Um, I tried to make it a little bit more customizable with having the extra added colors and stuff. Um, here is the patio out or balcony it's called a balcony Ariel come on get your get it together um, and then we're gonna go here into the master bedroom which has their closet they have a little kitty tree there so this way the cat can come sleep in the bedroom and there is the mirror for them to get ready and then here is the master bath I do love this master bath all the little decorations and stuff they have like the lights up there above the mirror like you would actually have like in a traditional home so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna wrap this up right here guys definitely leave your comments feedback and suggestions all down below in that comment section i love chatting with you guys down there and getting to know you guys um all my social media is in that description box including my twitch twitter and facebook and we're live on twitch every monday thursday and saturday at 7 p.m pacific standard time i would love it if you could stop Bye. I love chatting with everybody on Twitch. It's always so much fun. Um, and definitely check out the Twitter because I always tell everybody when I go live on Twitter. Um, as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This way you can catch more videos just like this one. And of course, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.